Hello, hello. Welcome to Fall of the Filled. Excited to have you here for a video of what I eat in a day. And I don't even know what I'm going to eat yet. So stay tuned for this whole video of breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I already had my coffee this morning and I'm going to take the dogs for a walk. So I am all geared up in my pants and going to put my tennis shoes on and head on out for a nice brisk morning walk. Y'all love what I eat in a day videos, so I'm continuing to do them at least once a week so that you can just see real life, what's going on, what I'm eating, what I'm up to, and just really raw and authentic of here's what I look like in the morning, I'm going for a walk, and just really making it really personable so that you can see what I do on a daily basis. Oh, this is just what I needed this morning. This beautiful walk. It's nice and breezy. It's a little warm because of the sun, but it just feels so good to be outside. I took two of the pups for a walk with me this morning. So this morning I ended up making a smoothie. It's a heavy metal detox smoothie that my husband and I have been really enjoying and it's from Medical Medium and just been enjoying it. So that's what I made this morning. And then I'm feeling a hearty breakfast. So I got something that I'm really excited to make this morning to incorporate my homemade bread. And I will be sharing my homemade bread recipe with you really soon. Not that I have bread all the time, but I have been successful in reducing my weight with you know, adding in bread every once in a while. And I feel like it satisfies some type of craving and it's really hard to find good bread with no oil. And so I got mine and it's great. This morning I am feeling like a savory breakfast. So I'm taking my 50-50 plate slash kind of bowl and adding in some spinach to the side here. So for my dressing, I just took some coconut aminos and some diluted Dijon mustard. And I'm just gonna stir this together. Pour it over the top.
for my starch, my homemade bread. I am going to add hummus on top of it with sauerkraut. I use this hummus, it's oil free. Saying I was just really craving something savory this morning. And so I thought of this. And then I am taking this sauerkraut right here and adding just a few spoonfuls on top. This is a must try. Mm. And for me, I love salad in the morning. And I got a question, do I only eat salads in the summer? I eat them all year round. All year round. The crunch factor of spinach. Can't beat it. All right, so I made mashed potatoes in the Instant Pot. 12 minutes manual mode. And what I ended up doing is I kept a little bit of water at the bottom and I'm just gonna make mashed potatoes. So that's gonna be one of my meals today. For lunch and then my dinner we're gonna use half of the mashed potatoes to make something else so definitely stay for this whole video because you'll want to see what I create from these original mashed potatoes all right here I go I am just gonna be mashing all of these potatoes and I think I did about 12 total they're the small yellow ones and I'm just gonna mash 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 until I get a consistency that I like before I add in the spices. And I like to do this while they're still kind of warm because it feels like it's easier to do the work of the mashing. I'm gonna add it to stir so I can see where I'm at and bring up the ones that I haven't mashed. And once I add liquid, it'll actually be a little bit easier but get the majority smashed you can see <laughs> the steam they're still really warm all right so you can see here that I got them pretty mashed up I will do more mashing but it's a start so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add in the soy milk I'm gonna add in my spices. So here I go. I have the Benson table salt. It's not really salt though. And I have my onion. As you can see, I'm not measuring this. I am just doing it, pouring a little bit here and there. And then from there, I'm gonna just start stirring all of these amazing spices around and then I will also go back to mashing so you can see how it's getting creamy uh, I just wish you guys could smell this and then at any point if you want them more creamier you will add in more of the non-dairy milk of whatever your preference is 
a little trick. So if you're gonna put this in the fridge for leftovers, you're gonna wanna warm it up and add some more non-dairy milk when you warm it up for the second time, just so that you get that really creaminess flavor. All right, so you can see here, I have it pretty mashed up, smooth, a little chunky, because that is how I prefer it. I mean, you guys could mix this even more and more as much as you would like. So I'm gonna split this and I'll have one batch for leftovers and for my lunch today. And then I'm gonna make something with the other half. today I had already made the mashed potatoes and a trick here is this is frozen broccoli and I lay it out like an hour or two before I'm gonna eat it so then I just have to like quickly warm it up in the microwave or you can steam it as well but I'm going to pour in my 50 50 plate here is going to be half of it is broccoli then half of it will be my potatoes, my mashed potatoes. And then from here, I'm gonna drizzle on some of my um, Alfredo cheese sauce because I have a little bit left from last week. And so I'm gonna link that below so that you can try it out. I'm just going to put a little bit over top of my broccoli. And here is an amazing 50-50 plate. I have half of my bowl plate, whatever you are eating from. I have half of it as my starch, half of it as my vegetable, and I can't wait to dig in. I have really been enjoying my zesty greens making my own sprouts at the house. I feel like it's so much more affordable and I can make as many as I need. Look at those little babies coming up. So I am taking the remaining portion here and I am making potato patties and I'm adding in vegetables and then I will air fry it. I want to do the zucchini. I want to add some zucchini and I love zucchini. And so I want to add in zucchini, but it's going to need to be really small. so hearty so anytime I can get shiitake mushrooms I do fresh or frozen so many fun things to do with them you can marinate them add them as you know a heartier dish anytime I can incorporate mushrooms I feel like I do those two. Then I have a mixed bag of peas, corn, and carrots. So I'm going to add those in. And then from here, I'm just going to stir this all together. So 
So in the meantime, I have my air fryer warming up at about 425. All right, so I have my mixture here. I have my basket with parchment paper over the top. And we are going to start making these. And you can make them however small or large you would like. have done the dishes from breakfast. So I have my 50-50 bowl here. I absolutely love it. I will link below what to search on Etsy to get this kind of bowl. It's really an amazing bowl to display your 50-50 start solution approved meals. So for dinner, I am going to have just some greens, not, not a full salad, but mostly just greens and carrots and onions. If you've been following along, you know that I love Dijon mustard on my salads with the amazing coconut aminos. As you can see, 50% is of my vegetable. And I'm going to add in the potato patties as my full meal this evening for dinner. My husband will have the exact same thing. I'm super excited to dive in and try this amazing meal out. I appreciate you tuning in today to today's video, what I eat in a day. If you loved it, I would love a thumbs up. And if you want to know about upcoming videos, subscribe to my channel. If there's something you would like to see a video on, comment below and I will do a video. I'm an open book and I love having you here. I'll see you next time.